Yeah, the folks, welcome to the Urban Rider Studio. We have a jacket with me from the British brand Merlin. This is the Merlin Exile motorcycle jacket. It's part of their autumn winter collection. It is also part of their Explorer collection, which just seems to be getting bigger and bigger. They've got loads of great items within that. If I was looking for something similar that I've reviewed from them in the past, actually this is closer, it puts me in mind, of the Merlin Drifter. The differences between them predominantly are that this one has a removable liner, so it is slightly better in those colder months. There is a crossover in terms of the seasons and the types of riding you could use both of these jacket in. Obviously they have some similarities, but in those colder months, those colder riding days, I definitely would wanna be sat in this one. Headline figures are that at the time of making this video, this is a sample, but I have been told they are coming in for £329.99 when we eventually get them in. They're available in either green or black colorways. They have a CE rating of level A, and they come complete with armor in your elbows, shoulders, and back. It's all level one D3O armor, and you have pockets for chest protectors if you want to get those additionally. Now let's explain some of the finer details and points, starting from the collar down. You have this padded collar on it. It is very comfortable against your neck. Something else that's nice to see is you have a Merlin embossed snap to close that off and block out that cold air. Now, if you want some more airflow, you can pin that back. It's got this elastic little loop on the end of it, and you can hook that on this piece of plastic at your neckline. You have a YKK zipper on the front, nice and chunky, nice and reliable. Behind that, you have this section to block out some of the water. I should have also said, actually, this is a fully waterproof jacket. That is important. You have this extra section of fabric and this channel to stop water from getting in there to trap it before it gets to your body on the inside. You have this removable liner, which again comes over the front, so that goes beyond the zip point of the jacket, therefore blocking out some more of that cold weather. You can remove that, like I say, so in warmer riding conditions, definitely want to take that out, but in the winter, that is gonna be very useful. You have three pockets on the inside for storage, one on the removable liner and two on the inside of the jacket itself. The fabric they've used is a 100% organic Halley Stevenson's ripstop cotton. It definitely has a textile feel and look to it. It also has some water repellents itself. To help further that waterproofing, they have a fully waterproof Texland Humax waterproof membrane on the inside of the jacket. You have loads of different vents across this for comfort, to allow more airflow through, to make it more breathable. Waterproof jackets cut down on that breathability, so it's always good when you have additional breathability in the jacket itself. You've got these two at your chest on the front. Those are fairly obvious to see. They have waterproof zips as well. That is important. You've also got two at the side of your chest here. I think probably more for exit than entry, but something that's really nice about that is even though they're in a spot where you think maybe they wouldn't get so much airflow, they have this snap on the inside which you can attach to the jacket itself, which will help keep them open so it's not gonna close up and block that air. That is clever. Additionally, on the back around your ribs, you have exit vents there as well to allow that airflow through to give it a channel. And you have pleats at your shoulder to make it more flexible as you're reaching for the bars. That will help with comfort. You can also cinch in certain areas in this to make it a little bit more tailored and fitted. You can do that around your waist with the drawstring. You have this Velcro around your forearms to cinch in those. And you have a snap at your biceps, actually, if you've got particularly big arms, which sadly I don't, but if you need a bit of extra room at the tops of your arms, you can loosen that off as well. You have a pocket on your right forearm if you need to put your license or something easily, quickly accessible in there. You can, and then of course you've got pockets around your waist as you will typically find. Those also have waterproof zips on them. And there are actually two pockets in one in that you have storage on the front there. And then you have a pocket for your hands behind that, which has a magnetic fastener, which is good because it keeps it closed, but that's somewhere really comfortable, really handy to put your hands whilst you're off the bike walking around. If you're wondering how these jackets size, I'm not gonna to commit too much to that as this is a sample. Sometimes that changes by the time we actually get the full jacket in supply. So all I'll say with that is if the mannequin is anything to base this off, it's a large that he's wearing. Generally speaking, he will wear a large. He's about a 40 inch chest and it fits him pretty well as you can see. As always though, double check our size guide that is the best and most accurate place to find out. We keep it up to date using your feedback as well. So if you have any comments about something like this, drop them in the section down below. We definitely find that sort of stuff useful. Let us know what you think of this in the section down below as well. Check for links in the description and I will see you soon for more of the world's finest riding gear. Bye-bye.